Hey guys, Jeremy with I Wanna Know More. Just wanted to do a quick vid on some out of place architecture I have found here in Alabama, which is my home state. Not gonna be too long of a video, couldn't find a whole, whole lot, but I did find some interesting things, so without further ado, let's go! Alright, here we have Clark Hall at the University of Alabama. And the first thing I notice is, well, this just does not look like any architecture I have seen. Well, in Alabama or pretty much many other places for that. Um, we got this big open hall right here. We got the big windows. And I mean, that's a pretty huge door there. And I don't know, that just does not look like a lecture hall to me, but I'll let you guys decide. Alright, I found this really, really interesting. This is a book that the Montgomery, the capital city of Alabama, her resources and advantages. Now, this is, I don't know where this hill is in Montgomery, Alabama, but we have the ruins of a castle. In Alabama, a castle. And one thing I wanted to point it out is we got some meltification here. Notice how the castle transitions from brick and goes into block. It wasn't built like this. There was an event that caused it to do this. Look, we got window here. We got a window here. Looks like a little, possibly a doorway here. We have a window here. We have either a window or a doorway. I mean, they are all kind of openings throughout here. Possibly one here. And why do we have this castle in Alabama? I mean, I'm just saying, Alabama is not known for their castles. I was trying to see if I could see anything else. But, you know, you see a column right here, and, and we see it going from brick to block. It wasn't built like this. Alright, the next pick we got is... Now, I found this really interesting. Y'all pay attention to this. All right, I have the same building about, oh, 10 years apart. All right, this is from 1925. This is from 1915. Same building. Look at all the stuff that is missing. We've got that's missing. We got all this antiquitech right here. We got statues, got the big doorway, the Roman A-frame, the col Roman columns, huge doorway. You could fit, looks like, three people side by side walking through this door. And again, upstairs. All of these old buildings always have an entrance upstairs. Now let's go back and look. See all the stuff that is missing? Why do you want to bet, bet that they have been put in the graveyards? I mean, this is the only thing left. Yeah, that probably looks like it could come from that timeline. Because they tore all of this down. All of this down. Looks like they kind of put this onto this. I could be wrong. But I mean... Look at how much that building had changed in 10 years. It don't even look like the same building up top. Yeah, right here, the, the facade and everything, sure. But all of that grand stuff up here. Mobile County Courthouse, 1925, 1905 to 1915. I just thought that was really, really interesting. 
All right, here we have the historic courthouse in Talladega. Now, not living too far from Talladega, I know in the 1800s, Talladega was not a vastly populated city in Alabama. I don't know the exact population, but look at this building in contrast to the surrounding buildings. What do you think the odds are that they found this building and decided, hey, let's build a town around here. I mean, look at this horse and buggy here. Look at the size of this door. You could fit two or three of these guys going side by side through that door. Why do you need a door that big? And again, we've got the Antiquitec up top, the Antiquitec antenna. All of this dome was probably at one time coated in either gold or copper conducting electricity from the air. This really looks out of place for Talladega, Alabama. All right, next. Remember that castle I showed y'all earlier on the cover of that book? Well, this is supposedly one of the oldest university buildings in Alabama. Now, I mean, Correct me if I'm wrong, but who said, hey, let's build a school that looks like a castle? Well, I mean, we get complete with the whole turrets, the big doorways. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'll let y'all judge. All right, here we have the first Montgomery Capitol building. It was destroyed by fire in 1849. And again, just like all the rest of these old style buildings, we gotta go upstairs. I feel bad for all of the elderly people that, that had problems back then that needed to go to the courthouse, just saying. This again probably lined with gold or copper, and I just about bet that this had a network of antenna systems on top, but I can't prove that. All right, here we have Mayor's Lane at Birmingham, Alabama. I really don't remember Birmingham having a trolley system, but I mean, I don't really live in Birmingham, so I don't know, just been there several times in my life. But I just thought this house looked completely out of place with the surrounding building. Not going to spend a lot of time on it. Just going to point out the possible Antiquitech up here. All right, next we got Lauderdale County uh, Courthouse. Again, we got the Roman Columns. Why are all of our courthouses developed after Roman architecture? I mean, I've got a theory, but I will let y'all look into that. that. That is a completely different video. Did not realize that we had a lot of Jewish people in Birmingham, Alabama, but I just thought this looked really out of place for, you know, the 1800s. The, the photos that I looked up come from early 1900s, late 1800s, so. All right, we have the courthouse and St. Paul's Church and Terminal in Birmingham, Alabama, and just, what road? Just we got the Antiquitech on top, and just look at this church right here. I got a better, better view of this church momentarily. Just really looks out of place. All right, now we got, see here, the St. Paul's Church 
or St. Cathedral of St. Paul in Birmingham. We just saw a, uh, wasn't a picture, but it was a drawing of it. Now, this was completed in 1893, and this is what it looks like. So, they were building this in, I will say, we'll, we'll give them a five year, so 1880-whatever. They were building this with a horse and buggy. We got the cymatic window. We got the Antiquitech antennas, conical structures. Just really out of place for... 1880 whatever well that was the last one I got for y'all like I said couldn't find a whole lot for Alabama but I thought I found a few interesting ones I would like to say thank you for all my subs uh, y'all mean a lot to me like share subscribe Thanks for stopping by.